hello everyone uh welcome to the channel it's rad and uh, in today's video we're gonna check into 6th of september uh 2022 um daily reading of the day a daily tarot reading that is and uh if you are interested in having a personal reading with me you can check out uh, the description down below uh, where you are going to pretty much find my website in which uh, you can view all of my purchases, their pricing as well, and uh, you can go for whichever one suits you best. So with that said, let's check on the cards for the day. Uh, the first one we have, uh, that is going to be the Eight of uh, Wands, uh, followed with the second card of the day, which stands as the Three of uh, Cups. And the final card of the day, uh, that is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. So this is how the Elemental Dignity reading stands. And we do have Active Enemies, Active Neutrals. Tuesday. That's going to be one of these days uh, where suddenly everybody around us have something more important to do. All right, something better to do than to put up with us. Uh, that comes from the eight of uh, ones with the three of cups here and it is just throughout the day It's not like the day is gonna be lonely or boring or anything like that In fact the day for what it seems is gonna be quite enterprising It's just the enterprises we would like to undertake they ain't gonna be shared with anyone because no one is gonna want to have any part of it because they're gonna have their own enterprises which they will consider more important than our and we are going to consider ours more important than theirs so it's going to be a not lonely day but more like a solo game a solo yeah it's it's a solo game right it's a single game it's a single player game it's uh it's a solo play so to speak for throughout the day and uh, this uh, this isn't a perfect day where we would like to put through certain people or get through a certain people. This isn't going to be a good day to uh, confirm positions or to how can I put it into the into words settle down arguments like reaching a common ground, so to speak. That is a day where we should just go out and kind of explore, explore our options available. Everybody is going to do that, for at least according to these cards. And also, it's not a good day to share what we do feel for one or another thing. It is just because people are going to have a hard time feeling our feelings. People are going to have a hard time, you know, seeing what we're feeling that way. Or even worse, a sharing the emotions we do have. Um, you may kind of like dislike certain cafeteria but the person that you went out for a coffee they will like it and it, it, it's gonna have that discrepancy in there which is only gonna be a cause for a let's not say fights but let's put it that way a disagreement also the day is not a perfect day to kind of like start something serious for what those cards are showing is because the progress that we are supposed to make throughout the day itself under that serious endeavor it doesn't look like that is going to come out but also it's not a good day kind of like to work on uh, existing patterns right it's like to to work on existing projects so to speak we can if we totally have to i mean the uh, elemental dignity is neutral uh, but it's just it, we, we it doesn't look like that we are going to be as efficient as we can and uh, that is exactly what i said a couple of sentences before that is a day where we should explore explore what provokes our interest our personal interest not the interest of the collective but our own and uh, kind of like scratch it down on a sheet of paper and come back to it when the stars or the environment if you will it's a bit more positive it's a day where we should kind of like indulge ourselves with carefree behavior it's a day where we should kind of like think a little bit more selfishly about what makes us eager what makes us excited you know what, what makes us in generally enterprising and try to kind of like 
take part of it, but not in a serious manner. So it's a great day to have fun, but to have fun by ourselves. It's a great day, you know, to go out for a walk, but do that by ourselves. It's a great day as well to play, for example, a video game, but uh, again, a single player video game. And uh, it's a great way in generally to explore our uh, personal interests. Uh, there is one more thing that I can say here, guys, and that throughout the day itself, we may kind of like look down on ourselves by, by the look of those cards. It's kind of like being a bit disappointed with, for example, our performance. Not, not exactly our performance throughout the day, but mostly of what became of us. And that will be something temporary, not something pers uh, permanent. So it's, we just have to live through the day. Uh, and for that said, a little bit of a um, dropping of our spirit could be uh, could be present there. Dropping of our spirit is in an expression in my country when you are really kind of like not feeling it, where you you think that you wasted a portion of your life or. The majority of your life so to speak but again that is going to be something temporary for the duration of the day and uh, on wednesday hopefully things are going to be much much uh much much better and one last thing i'd like to tell you here is that yeah i mentioned that we should go out and really explore explore our interests explore our passions and so on and so forth but <clears throat> that will involve a certain investment from our behalf you know if if nothing else the very least a time right but for some of us those are not gonna look like investments they're gonna look like kind of like a gamble it's gonna look like a bet you're putting on a bet if it's gonna happen or not and if it doesn't help happen um it's gonna be a loss so refrain from that this isn't an interest that you want to explore under the energy of uh, the Eight of Wands. That is an interest that we should explore under the energy of the Wheel of Fortune, Judgment. Uh, even the Five of Wands is a good card to do so. But Eight of Wands, why are we do? Uh, this is the difference primarily uh, in between the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Wands. It is that they both gives us an, an option available. Of course, the the uh, wheel of fortune gives us a much bigger options available, uh, but also the wheel of fortune kind of like shields us from a failure. Uh, th these options available that it gives us to us, it is just they're doomed to succeed. While with the eight of wands, it's not that way. The eight of wands, if we do not face those options available, those interests throughout the day with a clear-headed mind and we make a calculative move or choice is it good taking it or not we risk to lose things and if we make too much of a bet if we bet in all or if we are all in into it in fact we may end up losing everything so be very very careful while exploring that should be a carefree explore, exploration and we should refrain throughout the day to invest whatever it is unless it's time. So with that said, uh, that was the daily uh, tarot reading for 6th of September 2022. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.